YouTube, what is going on? Man, it's been a while. There's so much to catch you guys up on. Um, I guess the big thing is, is uh, I'm standing on my, my land right here. And this is the, the property where the cabin's at. Um, it's 25 acres up here. And the goal has been to build a real house up here. And slowly but surely working on that, um, I'm sure you guys know the housing market and the interest rates are all just kind of they are what they are so trying to make the most with what we got and right now we're trying to make the most of getting a road in here uh, I got a little pass started that comes off of the road so at least I have a place to pull up and park um, but this road's got to go the rest of the way back to the home site and I've talked to quite a few uh, local excavating companies and they have either ghosted me or just not wanted to do the job. I even had one guy kind of string me along the whole summer to eventually, months later, give me the I don't want to do it price. Um, so like your dad's probably said, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. But in our case, if we want it done at all, we're going to have to do it ourselves. So, but that is not what we're here to do today. We only have a couple hours today to do any work. And uh, I have been working on clearing the home site. That's been my primary focus this summer. And uh, we've been doing it with our little Kubota right here. And it's a great little tractor and quite capable for its size, but it does have its limitations. So eventually we're gonna need to get some bigger stuff in here to do the road. But as of right now, we only got a little bit of time today and there's only a few trees left on the home site. So we're gonna fire the Kubota up, we're gonna get up there and we're gonna try to get all those trees out of the ground so I can see that lot cleared for the first time. You guys in? Let's go. Oh, she needs a garage. We've got stuff growing out of the floor mat. Oh, it pains me to leave it outside, but it's a tractor and right now we don't really have anywhere to store it so she's sitting outside. Let's go ahead and fire this girl up. Something about starting a diesel tractor on a chilly fall day. Oh, it's just a hillbilly in me, I guess. for a while but eventually a storm took it out sorry one day a garage So right back behind me here, this is where the road needs to come in. So there's this power line, you can probably see the towers off in the distance. 
we gotta go, I think it's 25 feet to the right of that power line. So there are a lot of trees that need to come out, but for the most part, there's only a couple big ones. Um, a lot of them are like these little locusts that I've been pulling out with the Kubota, but we need to get that widened and leveled and a path going through there. And then when we get down to the road, sorry, it's a little windy right here. Let's wait for this gust. Where we get down to the road, there's a few big trees that hang over the road. So I would like to just pull it in one straight path along the power line. But I already have that spot dug over there, so it's just going to kind of depend on how that all works out. Um, but this is a major, major project right now. Let's show you guys up here. So those of you that have been around on the channel for a while, you've definitely seen up here before, but never like this. This is two summers of me just clearing this whole little hilltop here. Um, see if I can find some old drone footage of what it used to look like, and I'll throw that in now. But this is, this is eventually where I want the house to sit. Um, and like I said, all we have are these couple of trees left. So we're gonna try to knock those out today. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Uh, let's get to digging. You can see I got dug up under these roots pretty good. But this is about where that Kubota reaches about the max it can do. Um, hold on, I just got sidetracked. We have lantern flies here. They're not staying here for long. Yeah, not what I wanted to see. Definitely didn't want lantern flies up here. You guys uh, live around Pittsburgh, you know that they've kind of taken over the area. But I guess it was only a matter of time before they got out here. That's the first time I've seen one. I just smushed three on that tree. But I'm going to make sure we get all this wood burn up before springtime. And uh, try to mitigate the possibility of those things come here. Um, but anywho, um, you can see the 
the root ripper does pretty good at digging all the roots up, but these trees tend to have a nice tap root. So I can't really dig much more in there with the, with the tractor. So we're gonna try to hang a strap high up in the tree and see if we can pull it over at this point. So uh, let's hope that works. That seems to be the way these trees come down so far for me. So let's pull her on down. That's how you do some land clearing with a Kubota that's too small for the job. Doesn't really look like there's a, I mean, there's a bunch of little tap roots, but a lot of rock. Look at all that rock. Alrighty, probably gonna call it a day. We got one tree out of the ground. That took like an hour and a half of picking at the roots of it which isn't too bad, but if you think about how many trees I've taken down, uh, Kubota is definitely too small for the job. That's why we're gonna get some bigger machinery for the road. But really, I just wanted to get out here, get my hands dirty, make a video. So I definitely wanna get back into making more YouTube videos. It got a little, got a little weird there, let me explain. So, I do video full time now, specifically for business and artists. And uh, that really got going from my YouTube vlogs. And as I grew as a filmmaker, I started getting better and better gear and I started to try to put more and more into my edits. And my vlogs started to be like the test grounds for my professional edits. And <laughs> fast forward a little while and then now all of a sudden I'm carrying like a $6,000 camera through the woods making like my vlogs into cinematic movies and that just got to be way too much. So everything just kind of ground to a halt. But now I'm trying to get back out. I want to share more of this process with you guys and I really just miss logging this stuff for myself to go back and like look at how I've grown and things I've accomplished. But now I got this cute little Sony vlog camera that's way cheaper than my professional cinema cameras and I could fit it in my pocket. So I'd like to get in a rhythm of shooting one day a week to post on Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna do everything in my power to make that happen for you guys. So uh, wish me luck and until next time, Huggy Bear, peace.